This is again Simon Volta, Sales Director here with V Technologies. Again, I appreciate everyone taking some time this afternoon to join us uh, for this webinar showcasing our Starship application uh, with our QuickBooks Enterprise integration. Uh, today's webinar is going to be uh, focused around uh, how we can provide some tips on some uh, savings we can do for this holiday season um, and how Starship can do that um, utilizing um, your USPS module. Uh, and the savings that can potentially present. Um, I do welcome, I know we have some Starship users on the call with us today, uh, so welcome to you, uh, and as well as some Shipgear users as well. Uh, so welcome to you, and hopefully you'll find Starship as a benefit application to your shipping need. Um, I do have everyone on mute, um, so we're gonna leave questions and answers till the end. There'll be plenty of time that we can potentially get to them all. Um, and then uh, from there, if you do have a question, please, uh, by your name, uh, you can jot down exactly uh, what the question is. And again, we will answer those uh, when we finish with, up with the material. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with a short uh, presentation here. Uh, and we'll get into the demo here uh, momentarily. So V Technologies, for those of you who might be new to us, um, we have uh, Starship as our flagship product. Uh, we've been around for 30 years now. It's our 30th anniversary this year. Uh, so basically, it's a multi-carrier um, application. Uh, it replaces WorldShip. It replaces Ship Manager for FedEx, uh, and basically consolidates all of your parcel and as well as LTL carriers if you do have any LTL shipping needs as well into one application. Uh, we integrate with multiple different ERP and accounting packages. Uh, for QuickBooks users, we do only work with QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, we also are going to take a moment here uh, because we're very excited to further our partnership with the QuickBooks community. Uh, we've officially become a QuickBooks solutions provider, uh, which basically uh, means to all of you where you can help save some money uh, by bundling the packages between QuickBooks licensing as well as Starship licensing together. Uh, we also will have some Shipgear bundles as well for those Shipgear users on the call. Uh, if you're looking to uh, make an upgrade to a latest version, of QuickBooks or purchase additional user seats. Uh, again, we can help with some bundle packages so we can talk offline about those. Um, also, <clears throat> you can receive up to 75% off your Starship pricing, uh, which is good basically depending on your QuickBooks license. So depending on the um, licensing needs from QuickBooks, we'll determine the discount percentage that we can offer on the Starship program between a full out bundle. Um, so again, get with myself, uh, we can talk more about that, but it does require purchase of QuickBooks and Starship together to receive the discount at that time. Um, we also offer um, Intuit Payments as well, uh, where basically you can uh, be offered the lowest uh, merchant processing fees uh, from the Intuit uh, team. Uh, so again, if you do have any uh, uh, e-commerce needs that you're processing credit card transactions through today, I would highly encourage you to have our team here at uh, Intuit take a look and seeing if they can potentially offer you some any, uh, potentially offer any savings uh, that you might be using another application to do that for you today. So again, uh, by all means, if you are interested in this, there'll be something in the poll later on um, for having V Technologies act as if your reseller record. Um, and we can talk about the benefits of that offline as well if you are interested. So getting on to Starship, so what is Starship, kind of what we're looking to do here. So basically, we're going to give you one view um, to basically look at all your carrier options. Uh, we're going to leverage your item details, um, whereas Shipgear today, if you're using Shipgear, you're only getting header level information. You will now start seeing your items from your sales order, sales invoice, and QuickBooks be brought into Starship, help simplify your documents um, so we can automate those email notifications that you're sending out as well. Uh, we have the ability of auto packing orders, so we have something called packing scenarios in which basically we could take advantage of uh, and have you basically pack a, a single SKU um, together in multiple boxes um, depending on the quantity ordered. So again, we could take advantage of things like that and make Starship as smart as we want to make it. Um, we also have the ability of updating your e-commerce platform. So we have about a dozen or so e-commerce marketplaces and shopping carts we can integrate to. Uh, so not only do we write back to your QuickBooks application, we also have the ability of writing back to your e-commerce platform. Um, so again, if that's something of interest uh, and want help automating, that is something that we can do in the Starship um, uh, platform. As I mentioned, today's gonna be all around USPS. 
uh, how we can take advantage of those discounted rates uh, that are offered to you by the V Technologies team. Um, and uh, we'll talk more about that here in a minute as well. And then obviously printing all of your labels, all of your documentation, uh, packing list, everything together at the end so we don't have any errors happening with the wrong paperwork being sent to the wrong customer. Starship can consolidate all that once you've processed the shipment. As I mentioned, if you're using e-commerce, these are the different e-commerce platforms we do work with today. So if you are interested in any one of these integrations, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to quote that out for you. Um, again, each one of these is its own module, uh, but we do have a uh, bundle option to acquire all of the uh, modules that you see in front of you at one low price as well if you're interested in that. <clears throat> So we talk about post office, we talk about holiday shipping, we're in that season now as we get closer to the holidays that people start thinking about processing their shipments. How can we get those out there in a reasonable amount of time along with uh, the lowest amount of cost? Uh, by doing that, we basically partnered up with the post office as many of you may know, um, and basically offer you um, the lowest discounts that are provided by the post office called commercial plus pricing. Um, one of the things that we like to bring to everyone's attention is that Starship um, now has new requirement in its latest version uh, that requires you to enter dimensions of your boxes uh, in order to ship post office. And we've done that really not only to make it, you know, make any extra work for you, but it's actually to help you to take uh, advantage of what we call cubic pricing. Um, cubic pricing, if you're not aware of it, applies to anything under a half cubic foot or less. Um, that half cubic uh, for less uh, calculation is up on the screen. We're taking your length, width, and height. We're dividing it up by 1728 uh, and coming up with a, um, a number. Uh, if it's anywhere between 0.1 or 0.5, um, we're basically going to qualify you for a cubic incentive, which is greater, uh, a greater incentive on top of the standard weight zone that you might see in Starship. Um, Starship is smart enough to realize uh, the correct discount to uh, portray in the rate shop. So if cubic is better uh, a better rate for you, it will show that to you when you do your rate shop over your standard weight zone rate that Starship already has built in. So again, here you can see the max dimension that we can have for cubic is at 12 by 12 by six. Um, so anything greater than 0.5, or I should also have something on here, anything greater than 20 pounds would not be applicable to cubic rating. Um, that would just go on standard weight zone. When we look at pricing out some different options, that Starship has the capability of doing all of these. So what you're going to do, um, if you don't put any dimensions into Starship, you're going to see what we call the standard weight zone. Um, I have an example here of a package from Utah to Florida, um, 10 pounds, zone eight. Um, and you can see what Starship would return there for you at $36.32. Um, so that would be your standard weight zone as we apply to it. Then we have some called flat rate. Flat rate, um, you may have all heard of it, you know, if it fits the chips, slogan by the post office, we do support those boxes. You can put up to basically 70 pounds in those boxes. There's all different sizes from small to large. Um, I chose a medium box that has a dimension of 11 by eight by six. Um, and that rate would come back to you in Starship at $12.80. Um, it's a $23.52 savings um, by just entering the right packaging type uh, into Starship. If you felt like not using a flat rate for any reason, you wanted to take advantage of cubic, um, you would just simply enter the dimensions of 8 by 8 by 6. Uh, it's a cube 3 or a 0.3 cube, um, as they refer to it as. And that rate would be slightly higher than the flat rate, but it's still a huge savings of $14.02. It's a $22.30 savings. Um, and then we have something called cubic high volume. This is going to basically require you to do over 100 priority mail pieces a week uh, through Starship. It's also going to require an analysis through our visible supply chain partner, um, who are the ones that are actually supplying you with those rates. Um, they would look at your um, uh, billing files from UPS and FedEx. We'll talk more about that here in a minute as well um, and what advantage that has to that. And then we'll identify how many cubic shipments you actually could potentially do and that would put you onto a different rate card with us, um, which we call cubic high volume. And you can see there that cubic rate would drop from 1402 down to $11.39. So again, some significant savings by doing something so um, small of entering dimensions to take advantage um, for the holidays. Um, as I mentioned, the analysis that um, we offer, it's free. Um, there's no extra cost to it. 
um, where there's no obligation to the customer by any means. Um, it's something we've been starting to do with our team at Visible since January of this year. Uh, we've had a lot of interest from a lot of customers, uh, have helped save a lot of money for a lot of customers as well by migrating some of the UPS or FedEx volume to the post office. Um, but again, it's there to help to reduce costs for you. Um, it's there to help match or improve transit time because with Priority Mail, um, we're basically talking about three-day transit time across the country. Um, so you're going to have improved transit time over a UPS or FedEx, especially if you're shipping East Coast, West Coast, or West Coast, East Coast, um, when you're experiencing five or six day transit times. Um, you're also going to realize your true cost per shipment um, in this analysis as well. We're going to kind of identify uh, different things as, as far as accessorial fees go, transportation uh, rates, um, transit times, all of those things are going to be calculated into this analysis and then shown to you basically from a current to what a future snapshot will look like. Um, and then this is just an example we recently done where we helped someone save basically over $400,000 annually by adding post office to their fulfillment model. So again, something that could be eye-opening to a lot of customers, uh, but again, I would encourage you uh, to take advantage of it if you haven't already done so. It is definitely something to look into and see how you can implement. All right, so jumping over to the demo and how we can help you save some money here. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to my full screen here. All right. So I have a sales order that I have created. Um, so Starship, just so you know, supports sales order, sales invoice, or sales receipts um, from the QuickBooks Enterprise. If you're a QuickBooks Online user, uh, we only support QuickBook or the QuickBooks sales invoice or the sales receipt are the two documents for QuickBooks Online. Um, so just want to make that clear. The workflow is identically the same for all the um, different uh, source documents. Um, so that doesn't change at all. Um, so again, here I'm going to use a sales order. I created a simple sales order here with one item for each or uh, one of each of these items. Um, I have my puck and my cordless drill. So some of the mappings that we typically do where your ship to information, the ship via will come in. If you know it ahead of time, you want to map that in, you can do that. Uh, we also bring all the line items as I mentioned earlier. So everything you see here from description to SKU to quantity order to the values will all come into Starship as well for you to pack those accordingly. Um, we did add something new in our latest release to Starship with the ship status. Um, when I write back to QuickBooks, um, we're basically going to update as this is processed. So it's going to allow you to filter on those shipments um, if you have a lot of them. So you can filter on the ones that are not been processed to help your shippers out um, to be able to ship those uh, packages um, that need to be shipped versus ones that have already been shipped and not duplicate their effort. So I'll come back to this at the very end um, and we'll talk a little bit about the Starship application here. <clears throat> All right, so um, when we log into Starship, um, it is a web browser client. Um, so you're gonna log in, it is not cloud-based yet. So I know we get a lot of those questions that is coming. Um, it is not out in the uh, public uh, yet. Uh, so again, this is still a server-client relationship. Uh, we log in, uh, we come to our home screen. We're only looking at orders that need to be processed, um, and we're also looking at any orders that are available. You do have ability to add filters. You can filter on any one of these column headers that you see here. Um, so right now I'm only filtering out the ones that have already been processed, so I don't have to duplicate my efforts as I mentioned earlier. Um, if you have a um, barcode on your sales order or sales invoice, you want to scan that in, you can simply do that using the wedge type scanner, hit enter, and it would load all the information. If you don't, it's okay. We can use our little truck icon over to the right, basically bring in the order. And what Starship is going to do now is going to do a few different things. Um, we brought in all the order information from the um, sales order itself. So here you can see that sales order number we referenced, 8856. Um, we also put back the apply charges. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the ship via, it was set to UPS, so we brought in as UPS. We've also defaulted to your prepaid account. Starship also supports um, third party or collect shipping. Um, we typically will ask the user to uh, provide that account information in QuickBooks so we can map that third party account for your customer and then also set up a third party ID um, so therefore the user doesn't need to click into these widgets here and select this prepaid to third party manually. This would automatically revert to a third party user if we've identified it as a third party ID. So again, just wanted to make a point there. Um, and then up in the upper right corner, we also do an address validation behind the scenes. 
So the green checkbox represents everything is checked out to be good. Um, so we verified the street address, we verified the zip code, and we also verified a commercial versus residential location. So it's gonna help minimize those address correction fees that you might see with UPS or FedEx today as well. Um, <clears throat> so down below, um, you do have your packaging view um, down here where basically we've said, um, I'm using the, um, the packing scenarios that I mentioned earlier, where I'm basically saying that I'm um, taking my puck and I'm also taking my cordless drill and I told myself that I want those to go into my box. Custom packaging is your packaging, um, which basically doesn't bring in any dimensions or you know um, uh, for you. <clears throat> it's only gonna have an assigned weight to it. Um, so again, this is basically where you can have um, the ability to enter your dimensions in manually here, or you can leave it as such and take the chance that four pounds um, is, or five pounds in this situation is gonna be the right weight that the carrier is gonna charge you. Starship also takes in consideration dimensional weight uh, for the carrier, so that's what the build weight column is here. Um, so again, very important that you're entering dimensions, not only for cubic rating, but also for dimensional rating as well to make sure the right rate quotes are being established. Um, also, I should mention, since I'm in the screen, um, we do support a whole packaging database where you can um, import all of your different box sizes and dimensions. Um, so you can easily drag this down and click the box that you want to cho uh, choose to ship it with. Or again, you don't have to do that and import those one at a time if you wanted to as well. Um, if you basically go down out of here and into the line item view, basically this is where you can see the different line items, all the mappings we've done from QuickBooks as well, but from the unit values to the unit weight, all of that is in here as well. If you want to back order something, this is the section where you would come in and saying, I don't have my puck in stock. I want to make this zero. I can make that zero and only ship my cordless drill at this time and then reship against that same sales order down in the future once that puck comes in stock again. Um, down here, you'll see the total charges. So for parcel shipping, um, we basically show you the published rate. We also show you the contracted rate that's um, coming through. And then we have an applied rate. Um, the applied rate is basically taking advantage of what we call the freight rule. Um, so the freight rule basically allows you to put a percentage, a flat fee. Um, you can establish it by uh, value, total value of the order, by customer name, anything you particularly want to do. Um, but this allows you to set an amount that you want written back in the QuickBooks. So for the, my example, I have one freight rule, it's 30% across the board on every shipment. So $49.24 is gonna get put back in QuickBooks if I kept this with UPS. Um, but you'll notice that this will change as I change a carrier. Well, speaking of which, down below, um, this is where Starship does its own rate shopping. Um, so in one screen, so if you're using ship gear and you're having to go back and forth between portals, this basically simplifies that process for you to help you save some money. So you'll notice down here, it's been chosen as UPS because that was a ship via. We also return not only the contracted rate you're gonna pay UPS, but we also tell you it's gonna take four days to deliver. However, you can see up top um, that basically um, the post office in this situation is gonna say, you know, for this shipment, it's gonna be $38.01, so a little higher than UPS, but it's gonna take two days. So two days off your transit time. So you can say to yourself, do I want to ship it with priority mail in this situation, pay a little extra, or do I want to just pay a little less and get it there in a longer time? However, as you know, that before I spoke about it, um, was the cubic rating. So this is just taking consideration your standard weight zone. If you took an extra second here to basically, oops, sorry, wrong button. Um, if I came into my packaging view again and just put in some dimensions, if I just put in eight by eight by six for that box and I put in eight by eight by six for the second box, and now you'll notice what would happen is that $38 for the post office just dropped down to $22.78. Now it's a very you know, intriguing you know, proposition for me to say, do I wanna pay 37 and get it there in four days or do I wanna pay $22 and get it there in two days. It's sort of a no brainer at this point, And I'm going to go ahead and choose priority mail. So I can go ahead and do that. It's going to basically set it to your easy post account, which will re be required for you to ship any post office through Starship. Um, and basically at that point, now I can go ahead and process my uh, priority mail uh, shipment here with the two packages. However, if you were intrigued, um, you'll notice that now if in order for me to get a rate uh, with flat rate, 
I would just simply need to go into my packaging view and see any one of my different flat rate options. So if I wanted to, I can say, you know what, give me my uh, large flat rate box, you know, for this example, and give me my, uh, I'll just pick the same one, large flat rate box for this example. <clears throat> and now you'll notice basically you can see here that two large flat rate boxes are actually gonna be more than my cubic rating at $35. So again, it would make sense for me to use my own packaging in that sense and take advantage of the cubic rating for this particular shipment. So again, that's where Starship can kind of help you in one screen, kind of show you the different options available to you by just simply having your different dimensions. Um, so again, I'll just basically go back to my packaging <clears throat> on this and basically my packaging on this option here and basically enter my dimensions. As you can see, Starship will monitor this and make sure that dimensions are entered when it comes to post office to make sure you're taking advantage of those rates um, that you see here. So once you've done all of that, um, I should also mention um, to you as well that Starship does have the ability, you probably saw uh, earlier here that Starship had all the rate options available when I came down to the bottom. Um, I'm using a rate shop rule that's basically doing the rate shop upon the import of the shipment. So it's simplifying that um, need for me to hit this button here, run. Um, to do that manually. So that's saving me an extra step as well. You do have that option of clicking the button if you want to, but I'm taking advantage of a rate shop rule called parcel carriers and showing me all my parcel carrier options for this particular shipment. <clears throat> um, once I'm ready, I can hit ship and process. And now basically Starship will produce two shipping labels um, and basically the packing list that go along with each of those boxes as well. So that's full print now. So you'll see those here. <clears throat> so here you can see this is box one of one. Um, so I have my easy post label with priority mail. Uh, we call this our smart label. Um, it has basically the packing list attached to it. This is a generic stock. Um, you can customize this with logos, remove fields, add fields, make this look and feel however you like if you prefer. Um, you can also um, avoid printing this, uh, what we call smart label altogether and print them both to a thermal printer if you wanted to, or print one to a thermal and one to a laser um, if you uh, had that as an option as well. So again, you have the option here. Some people like this together. This would just be a die cut. You would peel that off and stick it on the box, and then the other half becomes your packing list. So then there's your second box um, with the second item that's listed in there as well. So now when I come back in the QuickBooks and pull up that order, again, everything happens here in real time. So we don't have to worry about syncing anything, downloading anything. So there you'll see both my tracking numbers along with the service that was used. If it differed from the UPS that I initially said it was gonna go. So now my customer service or sales team knows that I shipped this priority mail. Uh, and then I also put back the apply charges for that shipment in QuickBooks as well uh, in real time. Then last but not least, um, in Starship, um, we should talk a little bit about the dashboard that comes with the license as well. So the dashboard gives you internal access to um, the, the different uh, charts and reports uh, that are offered to you. So here you can kind of see, uh, I'm just gonna give you an overview here quickly. Um, and basically you can see we have a variety of different charts and graphs uh, that you can play with. You can remove and add if you wanted to. Um, and things that basically just reallocate themselves. Uh, but it kind of gives you a week over week snapshot for like total packages, um, total cost on spending uh, for transportation as well. Um, and then we also have things like a heat map um, that you can basically take advantage of and see where your shipments are going in the country. So in case if you're you know, lacking say in the Midwest or West Coast, um, maybe you wanna do some more marketing and sales efforts to get your products there. So you do have access to all these at your fingertips um, again, no extra charge for this. It comes with your license, um, but very uh, informative information uh, that you can get for each of your carriers um, versus going to them individually. And then lastly here, we do have um, something that we call our e-notify tool, uh, which basically allows you to personalize your e-notifications e going out to your customer. Um, so this is just an example here um, that I created with a company logo that you can put in here. Again, we give you the full template designer to design these however you see fit. Um, but again, and put any information you want into your email going out to your customer. So here can basically see that this is going out post office. Here's my master tracking number. 
gives the customer an estimated delivery date when they'll be on the lookout for it. These uh, links are also hyperlinks, so you can basically go right out to the post office website by clicking on it. Um, and then basically seeing that I have my two items in here. If you wanted to show that information, you don't have to. Um, but any information you want to display to your customer, you can do that in the table here that I have been put into the email. Um, if you're using e-commerce and you want to make a, you know, maybe a coupon code, have them come back to your site, uh, you can do that here as well. Some people prefer to make a future product announcement. Um, and then the other thing you can do in this email is attach any documentation that Starship produces. So like a packing list, a label, um, you know, a VOL if you're shipping LTL. So things like that you can basically put into this email as well so your customer has all the documentation needed ahead of the uh, arrival of their shipment uh, for them. So that concludes today's demonstration. So I do appreciate everyone taking a, a, some time this afternoon uh, to join me in learning a little bit more. Hope you found a bit of a value and uh, we appreciate the business and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.